Okay, here is the GED skill of absolute value. From GED, the skill is find the difference between two numbers using absolute value. Absolute value is the distance a number is from zero. So we write absolute values with these like brackets here, these kind of just straight lines up and down and the number in between it. And so that is really a question to you, is how many units is negative three from zero? So if we go down here to our number line, negative three is one, two, three from zero. Okay, three units from zero. Well, what is the absolute value of just three? How many units is three from zero? Well, it's also three, okay? So the absolute value of negative three or the absolute value of th positive three is always positive. It's always three, okay? Or in this case, it's three. So let's do some examples. Finding the difference between two numbers. First thing is you always want to subtract. And then let's treat subtraction as adding the opposite. So let's think of it this way. What is the difference between five and two? So I purposely picked an easy one here. Um, that would be the equivalent of taking the absolute value of five minus two. Again, if we treat this as adding the opposite, this will be five. Instead of subtraction, we're gonna turn this into addition. And this is actually a positive two here. So let's change it into a negative two. So now it's five plus a negative two, which is going to be the absolute value of just three, or the answer is just three. And as you know, the difference between five and two is three. What if we do it the other way? Will it still work? What if we do two minus five? Okay, well, um, we would take, again, treat subtraction as adding the opposite. So this would be two plus a negative five which is going to give us the absolute value of negative three, which again, the absolute value of negative three is just going to be three. It is three units from zero, okay? So here's another example of how we use every uh, absolute value in everyday life. So here's a common question. What is the difference in age between J and K? J is five years old, K is seven years old. So you probably just said, well, the difference is two. Right, and you, are, of course, are correct. So how mathematically did you do that? You either, you might have done five minus seven, okay, and we treat this as the absolute value. You would have done, again, I'm just gonna do the uh, treating subtraction as adding the opposite, five plus a negative seven, and you would have gotten negative two, and it would equal two, or, you could have done seven minus five, and that would be equal to seven plus a negative five, and that is also equal to two. So we didn't say, if someone asks you, hey, what's the difference in age between J and K? You, you don't say positive two. You don't say K is positive two compared to J, or J is negative two compared to K we actually use the absolute value. We just say two and we use other words to modify it. So we say J is two years younger or K is two years older, but we're effectively using the absolute value here because we don't use positive and we don't use negative. So let's do two more quick examples. These are the ones similar to what you might see on the GD. So find the difference between negative four and five on the number line below. The answer choices are in absolute value form, okay? So here's negative four, here's zero, uh, and here's five, okay? So for the steps, you always wanna be looking for subtraction. So that tells us that this one right off the bat is gonna be wrong, okay? Um, make sure the number in the answer choices match up. So this is a negative four and this is a five. Okay, so if we go through, this is a negative four and this is actually a positive five. Those match up. This would be a positive nine and this would be a positive four. This would also be a positive nine and this would be a positive five. So these are all positive. We need a negative four. So the only one that works is this one here. And so already, before we even do the work, we can see that the answer is going to be B. But 
if we count, and it doesn't matter if you count from 5 to negative 4, or you count from negative 4 to 5, your answer would be 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 9 units, okay? So we need an answer that equals that. So I've already done the work here. Um, so the top one would give you negative 5 plus 4 would give you the absolute value of negative 1, which would just be 1. That's not correct. Here's the one that we want. Again, if we treat um, subtraction as addition, it would as adding the opposite. It would be negative 4 plus a negative 5, which would give us the absolute value of negative 9, which is 9, which is our answer. Um, C is going to give us 9 plus a negative 4, which is the absolute value of 5. And D is going to give us 9 plus a negative 5, which is the absolute value of 4 or 4. So those aren't correct. Just for the sake of it, let me show you there's one other way of writing this that would have been correct. We could have done, or this could have been an answer choice, 5 minus a negative 4. The absolute value of this will also be 9. So if you, again, treat subtraction as adding the opposite, it would be 5 plus a positive 4, because we change this to addition and change this sign to a positive. So 5 plus a positive 4 is the absolute value of 9, which is just 9. Okay, so there's always two ways of doing this. So that brings us to this one here. Find the distance between negative 15 and negative 9 using absolute value. Find your answer in two different ways. So first thing I would do is sketch out a, a number line. You know, since they're both negative, let's just start here with 0, and we'll do negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, and then negative 10, negative 11, negative 12, negative 13, negative 14, negative 15. Okay, so we can determine our answer is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's our answer, okay? But how can we find it in two different ways using absolute value? All right, so again, we always will be subtracting. So if we think of this as like A and we think of this as B, it's effectively A minus B and B minus A. Either one will work. So let's do this one first. Let's do negative 15 minus a negative 5. Oh, sorry, minus a negative 9. Don't know where that came from. All right, so if we do negative 15 minus 9, and we treat these as, you know, the absolute value, and then we'll do negative 15 plus a positive 9, that's going to give us the absolute value of negative 6, which is 6. The other way of doing it is to do negative 9 minus a negative 15. Again, treat subtraction as adding the opposite. Leave this first one the same. I'm not going to do anything to it. So it's minus 9 plus a positive 15. So you end up with 15 positives and 9 negatives, which is going to be positive 6 or just 6, as we proved up here. So notice um, we have to have these subtractions. Has to be subtraction. Always, you're always going to have subtraction in there. Make sure that these match up, negative 15, negative 9, negative 9, negative 15, and then do the work. And that's how you do absolute value on the GED.